Hey guys, it's been a while, hasn't it? Don't worry, I'm still learning languages and thinking about what to do with this channel from time to time. I know it's been a while since my last update, but sometimes things get in the way. Rest assured, I haven't forgotten about my quest to learn languages. In fact, I've continued since my last update, and I'd like to say that I've improved and found new methods and ways of learning. I also have some ideas to make future updates much easier. Let me tell you what I've done. For the past year, I've mostly focused on Japanese. I've tried following routines, using new resources, and focusing on different aspects of language learning. Throughout the past year, I've realized that I've been spending way too much time with flashcards, and not enough time with other activities that would actually improve my language skills. Going through flashcards is easy, but it's not a substitute for more practical and important aspects of language learning. One of my biggest problems I still have is my listening. Developing the skill is tough, so I've tried various methods. Shadowing is a very active method, but it's tough to gauge whether it's really helping. It's certainly better than nothing, but I don't think I use it correctly, or rather, I feel like I don't do enough repetitions. Other than shadowing, I try to write a summary of what I've heard, and I've also tried transcribing what I've heard as well. Finding engaging material is often difficult. Sometimes I try to do active listening with Sakurai's channel, but my lack of vocabulary sometimes gets in the way. And sometimes it's the usage of grammar that I'm not familiar with. I sometimes wonder whether I'm really listening, or if I'm just reading the target language's subtitles if they're available. I've also tried to do more reading. There's a fair amount of advice that seems to push reading, but I sometimes feel like it's a good way to avoid listening practice. In any case, I've tried a couple of graded readers. I've finished the Teach Yourself ones. They were interesting, but I still felt like the language wasn't exactly natural when compared to reading native level material. Maybe it's an improvement to know that some graded reader material sounds and looks stilted compared to native level material. I've also taken part in a language learning challenge, primarily because I wanted to try a period of a more intense focus of study. Basically, it was one of those three month challenges. I aimed for a study schedule of five times a week, 45 minutes a day. If I could do more in a week, I would do it, but I didn't overdo it. It's often easy in these challenges to do a lot of intense study, but the problem with this is that you will often burn out after the challenge. And then you don't want to learn languages anymore. That's not what I want. I think I managed to do what I set out to do. However, for the next challenge, I was thinking I'd try a language maintenance challenge, adding Cantonese on the side. Recently, I've also come up with an idea about how to start learning languages from scratch in a more productive way. I do feel like I want to branch out every now and then. While I do understand the importance of focusing on one language at a time, I don't think it hurts to dabble in other languages every now and then. It breaks the monotony of the routine and keeps you engaged. And I've also found it helps you look at your learned languages in a different way as well. In terms of this channel and future videos, I'm planning to do a mix of content. Probably the most time-consuming thing about recording videos in another language is adding subtitles, especially since I often like commenting on my own speaking. What I was thinking is that I'd like to sometimes make videos where I speak in English a bit more. But that doesn't mean I'll go and make videos where I exclusively speak in English, but rather play games where I may need to translate on the fly to understand what's going on. This could be something like playing a visual novel or an RPG in another language. For example, I could play an RPG like Persona 4 in Japanese and try to translate what's going on in real time. This way, I only need to add comments to the video rather than translate every single thing I say. And I get to practice my reading as well. That said, that doesn't mean I'll primarily do these videos. Quite the opposite, actually. I still want to make videos that aren't just Let's Plays. Maybe unboxings, telling stories, reviews, language blogs, etc. Please look forward to my new videos in the future. Well, that's all for now. Please let me know what kinds of things you'd like to see in the future. 
Until then, thanks for tuning in.